This video will cover the topic, Expanding a Logarithmic Expression, Problem Type 1. How do we expand logarithmic expressions? There are certain properties of logarithms that can be used to expand a logarithmic expression. Three important properties that we will be using to solve problems of this type are the logarithm product rule, logarithm quotient rule, and the logarithm power rule. The logarithm product rule says that the base b logarithm of x times y is equal to the base b logarithm of x plus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm quotient rule says that the base b logarithm of x divided by y is equal to the base b logarithm of x minus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm power rule says that the base b logarithm of x to the y power is equal to y times the base b logarithm of x. We can use these properties to solve problems where we have to expand logarithmic expressions. Okay, this seems to all make sense to me. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. In this problem, we are asked to use the properties of logarithms to expand the logarithm of z to the fifth power divided by y. Okay, so according to the logarithm quotient rule, the logarithm of z to the fifth power divided by y could also be represented as the logarithm of z to the fifth power minus the logarithm of y, right? Yeah, that's right. But we can still expand this expression even more. We can apply the logarithm power rule to the logarithm of z to the fifth power, making it five times the logarithm of z. Once we have done so, we will have reached our final answer. Okay, I think I understand what is going on here. To expand a logarithmic expression, we have to remember the logarithm product, quotient, and power rules. With these properties, we can rewrite logarithmic expressions in expanded form. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.